So today I'm doing the Yearbook Hall of Fame book tag. This was created by Kat at Kitty Tastic, and basically she took the yearbook categories and you pick book characters for them. I went ahead and did a boy and a girl for each, so let's get started. For category one, we have Best Dressed, and for Best Dressed Girl, I picked Evan from Unexpected Blessings. In this book, her great-grandmother created this really famous department store, and she worked with all these high fashion designers, so there's a whole bunch of just amazing descriptions in here of the clothes that she wore, so that's why she got best dressed. For best dressed boy, I picked Malfoy from Harry Potter. I feel like Draco is just, has the best of everything in these stories. He's always, you know, as the boy who has everything as far as materialistic things go, and so I picked him for best dressed. For the second category, we have best eyes. For girl, the girl, I picked Lily from Harry Potter. I feel like her eyes are mentioned a whole bunch throughout the story and they're really important when it comes to Harry Potter having her eyes and how that affects the storyline. So Lily gets best eyes for the girl. For the boy, I picked Lucas from Lucas. In this book, the um, protagonist runs into him and the very first thing she notices is his eyes and how just deep and soulful they are. She feels like he's looking at her like she's the only girl in the world and so that's why I picked him for best eyes. For category three we have best hair. For the girl with the best hair I picked Clarice from Some Enchanted Evening. There are a lot of descriptions in here of how she does her hair. She's very particular about her attire. It's set in the 1800s and so I picked her for the girl with best hair. For the boy, I picked Edward from Twilight. I think that it's really hard to pick hair for characters because I feel like the eyes and other things are described more, but I know that his hair is specifically talked about in the beginning, so I picked him for best hair. For the next category, we have Biggest Flirt, and for the girl, I picked Joe from Play. In this book, Joe gets cheated on by her husband, and she feels like life is over, and then all of a sudden, she has all these suitors vying for her attention, and kind of unintentionally, she just is a really nice person and so she ends up being this you know she has a whole bunch of people coming after her and so she just seems like a big flirt to me for the boy i picked eric from dreams and desires in this book eric runs into this girl sonia and they're they really shouldn't have a relationship because they kind of work in a similar situation but he just convinces her that it's worth it and so i think that he got should get biggest flirt for the boy for the next category we have most dramatic and for most dramatic, I picked Darcy from Something Borrowed. Um, in this story, Darcy is just awful, especially with her friend Rachel. Everything is the end of the world, and so I think that she should get most dramatic. For the boy, I picked Alaric from A Crack in the Line. Um, if you've seen this, Alaric ends up in an alternate reality where he is a girl, and a lot of other things happen, and he just does not handle it well at first, so I think he should get most for best couple, I picked Henry and Claire from Time Traveler's Wife. They encounter so many hardships considering the fact that they meet each other at all of these random times through their life. And so I've always thought that their relationship has withstood a whole lot and it definitely deserves best couple. The next category is Class Clown, and I picked two boys for this one. I picked the Weasley Twins from Harry Potter. I feel like they just add so much jovialness to the story, especially Order of the Phoenix where we have Umbridge, and so I would definitely award them Class Clown. Then we have Most Likely to Succeed, which obviously goes to Harry Potter from the Harry Potter series. No matter what, no matter how many times he faces Voldemort, he wins, he is successful, so I definitely think he deserves that award. And the final award is Valedictorian, which once again, it's a Harry Potter character. I pick Hermione Granger. No matter what, she is just the most knowledgeable person, and I feel like she would be a great valedictorian. So I chose her for valedictorian. And that is the Yearbook Hall of Fame tag. I hope that you enjoyed this tag. If you have somebody else that you think should have gotten an award or another award that wasn't in this tag, please leave a comment below, and I'll see you all next Tuesday.